For tonight, we are getting ready to make some mashed cauliflower. Charles and I are a bit obsessed with mashed cauliflower and love making it in a variety of ways. We did, in fact, serve mashed cauliflower at our wedding reception, so 125 guests were able to enjoy our version of this lovely accompaniment for their meals. Mashed cauliflower is great. What I'm getting ready to do here is make up a rather large amount of mashed cauliflower that we're then going to use on our farmer's pie, so our version of shepherd's pie. You don't have to be super particular on how you chop up your head of cauliflower for this. You do want to pull out the leaves as those don't have the best flavor in them. However, there's still some of this stock, if you will, or stem in the middle. Absolutely fine to leave that in. Sometimes it takes a while for that to cook, so you might want to cut it out, whatever your preference is. But again, all of these bits, all I'm going to do is just take my knife, get in here, and all I'm trying to do is break it up into pieces that I can then steep. And this is our lovely four quart round Le Creuset piece. To this head of cauliflower, I'm going to add about two cloves of smashed garlic. So these add a really nice flavor into the cauliflower as it's cooking, so just going to scatter those in there. And then just a little bit of rosemary. You'll notice I've kept these whole, I've not chopped them up, I've just pulled it off the branches. Since we're going to process the cauliflower once it's all mashed in the food processor or with our immersion blender, it's fine to keep those whole, they'll still impart a nice flavor. To that I'm going to add my chicken stock. So I have here about a cup and a half Going to hold off on seasoning with any salt, pepper, anything like that until we get the cauliflower all mashed up. Go ahead and turn the heat on this to about a medium heat. Just want to bring the temperature up and get that steaming. Cover this and let it go. Check on it in about 15 minutes or so. See how the cauliflower is doing. Maybe give it a stir. Okay, just going to check in here on how we're looking. See, we've got a nice simmer going on. I'm just going to go ahead and give everything some nice stir. You can see the cauliflower is already pretty mushy and kind of starting to fall apart, which is a good thing. Still have a good amount of liquid in there, so I kind of want to let that cook off, but I want to be careful not to burn the cauliflower. We have our cauliflower added to our food processor. Again, added all that rosemary, garlic, the little bit of broth that was left, but as you can see, it's pretty dried out. There's not a lot of liquid left in this. This is also the part where you can have all sorts of fun with your mashed cauliflower. If you wanted and you were doing the whole dairy thing in your life, you could add in some goat cheese, some heavy cream or butter to add that creamy texture in there. You could add some crumbled up bacon in, some chives. Sometimes to get more of a creamy texture, we'll go ahead and add some of our paleo mayonnaise to this. Again, flavorings, seasonings, whatever you like. If you wanted to do more of an Asian-inspired mashed cauliflower, I would suggest maybe some ginger, perhaps a little sesame oil to add that flavor to your mashed cauliflower. So many different ways that you can serve this and make it taste just amazing. So we're going to go ahead and let this roll. Again, a pretty creamy texture that we've accomplished here. Looks pretty darn close to some mashed potatoes, which is why a lot of places will call these faux potatoes. I'm a big fan. Serve this as a side dish many times. Super low carb, really tasty, and something we hope you'll enjoy.